Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing what's on my Samsung tablet and accessories, how I use it along with my favorite apps and how I customize my home screen. I absolutely love my Samsung tablet, so let's get straight into the video. My Samsung tablet is the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus and I got the 128 gigabytes storage size. It came together with the S Pen and they're both in this color called Mystic Bronze. For the accessories, I have two tablet cases that I got from Amazon. This one is my favorite and it's also a stand for when I'm typing or watching something. It has a slot for the S Pen, but only works without a pen cover. My other case, I don't actually use very much. It has a nice cover design, but has some functionality issues. I like using a silicone cover on my S Pen for the extra grip when I'm handwriting, and it also helps to protect the pen if I drop it. I also have this tablet stand, and I use a Bluetooth keyboard when I'm doing a lot of typing. I love to customize my home screen, and I'll quickly go through the different widgets I have on here. This is a clock widget, and you can set the alarm by tapping on it. I also have a widget showing the current weather and temperature. This habit tracker lets you track your daily habits, and I'll talk about this in more detail later in the video. I made this scrollable picture stack using my own pictures from my home screen theme, and the quotes are from Pinterest. I also have this to-do list as well as a battery widget, and finally, the wallpaper and custom icons are also from my home screen theme. Moving on to the apps, my most used app is Penly, which I use for digital planning and note-taking. If you're new to digital planning, this is a hyperlinked PDF file with daily, weekly, monthly pages, and you can write on it with the S Pen and add stickers and photos. The planners are included, but you can import and use any PDF file. Some of my favorite features are handwriting to text, being able to draw shapes, and the sticker panel where you can bulk import images. My channel is all about digital planning, so make sure to subscribe if you're interested in finding out more. You can also create any color note templates directly within the app, which is useful for making aesthetic notes. Ibis Paint is what I use to draw on my Samsung tablet. The interface is not very intuitive, but once you get familiar with the app, it can do a lot of things like working with layers, clipping masks, and the eyedropper tool. There's a wide range of brushes, although I personally haven't managed to get the stabilizer to work, so my lines don't come out as smooth as I would like them to. Another drawing app that I have used and like is Infinite Painter, which has a nicer user interface, in my opinion. I've been trying to read more books recently, and Moon Reader is a good ebook reader app. I love the visual elements like the bookshelf and the page flip animations, and there's so many customization options for the page background and font, and you can even create your own background using any image. There's a ton of features like dark mode, bookmarks, and search, and it's really easy to download free books from the web. Then I have a Zen Flip Clock, which is a clock as well as a Pomodoro timer. I like to use it in pop-up window mode so you can see the timer in the corner of your screen at the same time when you're working on something else. For keyboard customization, I have SwiftKey Keyboard. There's a range of different themes and you can also create your own using any background image. Pantastic is a useful customization app for the S Pen. You can change your pointer to a heart or a cute animal or even custom make your own. You can also use Pentastic to change the double tap shortcut, which opens up a notes page by default. I changed mine to open up Penly instead of Samsung Notes, just because that's my preferred note taking app. There's also some different designs for the air command panel if you want to customize that. Then I have Study Bunny, which is a cute productivity app where you can set the timer to focus on a task. You earn coins from finishing the session, which lets you buy things for your bunny from the store. You can add a color tag and name each session with whatever subject or task you are doing, and the app will show you an overview of how you have been spending your time. There's also a section for your to-do list and flashcards. I was looking for a coloring app and I think Pen Up is pretty good. There's a huge variety of images to color in and you can use the brush tools which give you more creative freedom or you can use the paint fill bucket which colors in an entire area. The color palette lets you pick any color and you can also browse through other people's artworks for inspiration. I use Adobe Scan for scanning physical notes and papers and it automatically brightens up your scan but you can also make adjustments yourself. I love positive affirmations and I have this widgets app called I am. You select the areas that you'd like to improve like stress and anxiety or positive thinking and the app will automatically give you a new affirmation every day. There's lots of different widget themes and also a section for daily freebies. I use this background eraser app for removing the background from photos before I add them to my digital planner or journal. It works well on some photos and not others, but there is an option to manually edit the photo if it doesn't come out looking right. 
I prefer using my digital planner, but TikTok app is good if you just need a simple to-do list. You can add a checklist within a task and also add images. I love the home screen widgets and you can make them semi-transparent to match your wallpaper. The to-do list widget allows you to add and tick off tasks easily directly on the home screen and you can also tick off daily habits using the habit tracker widget. I usually use my digital journal but an alternative way to journal is using a mood tracker app like Moodpress. This lets you track your daily mood and activities. You can journal on the daily page, select what activities you did on that day and also add in photos. You can then see an overview of your mood and activities over the entire period. Another useful app is One Hand Operation. This gives you handles on either side of your tablet and you can customize what it does when you swipe on it in different directions. I set mine to take a screenshot because I find that a lot more convenient than holding down the tablet buttons. I don't do any heavy video editing on my tablet, but I have InShot app, which is good for editing short videos for my TikTok and Instagram. You can do most things in here like changing speed, adding text and stickers, and adjusting brightness and other aspects. I already mentioned the Pixel Clock app for the clock widget on my home screen, and the picture stack was made using Simple Photo widget. It's easy to use and you just select any image from your photo album and choose the widget shape. I made an entire video on how to customize your Samsung home screen, so check that out if you're interested. I've been trying to practice meditation and I have this app called Medito, which has guided meditations and audio tracks for things like gratitude and mindfulness. And there's also a meditation timer with relaxing sounds. I like that it plays in the background so you can use other apps and listen to the courses at the same time. I was using the default calculator app and then I found this other calculator that also includes a bunch of useful features like currency conversion, BMI calculator and tools for things like cooking and clothing measurement. I also have a similar app called Smart Tools and this has a torch as well as a screen light that you can customize into different colors. For photo editing I have Snapseed and you can adjust different aspects like brightness and saturation and add text over the top. There's lots of different filters and effects and it's fairly intuitive and easy to use. Another useful tool is Cut Paste Photo. It lets you freehand crop images, which I like to do for digital planning and journaling. So if your note-taking app doesn't come with a freehand crop, then this is the next best thing. And you can also crop images into a circle or oval shape. Rotation Control app is useful if you like to use your tablet in a certain orientation. I prefer landscape mode, but a lot of apps are designed to be used on a phone, so they come in portrait. And this app lets you set the orientation so you don't have to keep rotating your tablet to use different apps. It doesn't always work though, and sometimes the apps don't fill up the whole screen. I struggle to find a good widgets app and I don't love this one either. Ignoring the ads, I personally didn't find many aesthetic widgets and they also don't fill the frame properly on my tablet, but there is a wide variety of designs. I also have Keep Notes, which is a simple note-taking app that is great if you just want to jot something down, save a bit of information or do some quick brainstorming. You can add images and create to-do lists and it's easy to see all your notes at a glance and there's also the functionality to set an alarm. For learning languages, I have Duolingo app. You can do various exercises and tests tailored to your skill level and earn daily rewards. The exercises are interactive, which makes it a bit more engaging than simply memorizing a list of vocabulary. Anyways, check out my Samsung Plan With Me videos if you're interested in seeing how I use my tablet for digital planning and journaling. I'd also love to hear about how you use your tablet and what are your favorite apps, so let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you found the video useful and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching!